and a warm welcome to this let's play of my asthmata my asthmata my anus is bleeding my asthmata I think I'm just going to stick to calling it my asthmata my asthmata something like that uh, as you can see I've had a bit of fun with it uh, but this is going to be the real thing I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it so just I'm going to enjoy playing it at time recording it's a lovely Saturday evening and well I've got a nice cold pint with me, it's all gonna be fun. In a different place in time. Your name is Robert Hughes. You awake on the shores of a mysterious island. You have come to this island an exiled man, a traitor and betrayed. You are suffering from a plague, a disease from which you will soon die. This island is home to a research outpost, a conclave of enlightened men searching for a cure. You must discover the cure and survive. Okay, so that was like, that pretty much sets the entire tone for the game. So waking up on a mysterious island where there's the cure is being discovered and my objective is literally to survive. Kind of nice. Uh, that's my hand. As you can see it is hilariously disproportioned. It looks very nice. Uh, I know I'm not, I don't really do a lot of game reviews but come on it looks beautiful. For an indie game it's, it's one of the best I've seen around. Anyway. Uh, gonna start moving forwards now. Press tab to open your journal. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, it will tell me my strength, endurance, perception. Uh, so how strong I am, how fast I can run, and how far I can see. Health is okay. This here is like a thermometer. Uh, as I get more fevered, this will start to increase. It will tell me my primary objective. Obviously, discover the plague cure. But there's also notes and research as well which is quite cool and it's tab to get out and escape now it looks beautiful and it really is a beautiful looking game really well put together and made by two people as well I mean you have to be seriously talented to make a game that looks as pretty as this just by you know two itself I mean it's no crisis free but geez it looks nice and texturing quality as well is pretty fantastic I mean just look at all that you know amazing detail uh, the trees as well all good so you know not seen a lot of civilization not seen many outposts although there's a wooden hut over there that should be good now should be one of the funnest things I've done in a while because uh, it is a good game honestly now as always the finger points to what I should be reading and let's read it um, I remember how to zoom in it's uh, no it's not that um, press all the buttons see what happens no uh, anyway um, dear professor Douglas to sorry, from professor Douglas to dr. Sanchez subject plague cure Dear Harlow, my tests have been successful. We have a cure. Begin immediate synthesis of Tricor design by combining the three agents. Agent X, primary antibiotic. Agent Y, antitoxin. And Agent Z, adjuvant. A single injection will safely el eliminate, eliminate, eliminate all traces of plague growth within 4 to 12 hours. And I don't know why I'm speaking in that ridiculous accent, but... I'm going to basically do a different accent for every single letter I find because well I've just had a lot of beer now as you can see the mystery of this island really is this blood I mean it looks like it's floating but I can't tell um, yeah it I think it is floating that seems to be floating right there it's a bit weird um, to tell you the truth there's floating blood Oh! 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 Um, now, in most survival situations, it would give me the option to take the knife. 
So there we go. Now I have a weapon to defend myself with. Should be great. Um, of course, I could have just picked up a rock and done something like that. A uh, bit of frame rate dropping there. But nothing too taxing. Now, if I remember rightly, this is the laboratory. This is where I can synthesize my cure. Now, this is no CERN, but it will do. As you can see, different colored tables do different colored things. This, um, from what I found out earlier, this is where you put plants to find out what they are. This is where you put plants to store them. Um, that's the scales, but it has no in-game purpose. Here, you can stock, stock up on your um, water. Water is quite important for reducing fever. And it will fill up your canteen as well, so you can take a drink on the move. I believe you get five drinks total. That's probably blood. Um, if you drink that, you're going to get some nasty disease. And here, synthesis station. This is where you basically turn a plant that you've examined from that into a remedy, which is over here. And this is a below. Oh! oh, sweet Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. You are being watched. Oh, God. Well, I'm going to completely eradicate the scaring with a simple point. This laboratory was meant for some other people, not me. Unless that's been drawn on later as I've arrived on the island. But, you know, all is good. Ooh, ooh pretty flowers. Um, got myself a flower. I discovered a white pink viola. Vi vi viola? Viola. Genius, no, genus. Um, don't know that yet, but if I examine it, I'll find out. Observations. A typical plant example. A typical example in the viola genus. This flower is white and pink in colour. God's sake, it's tab. Yep, so as you can see, I can carry something in my right hand and something in my left hand. Obviously, making use of my limbs there. Uh, now, drop it in the examina examination tray and then activate the microscope now interestingly enough he cuts a big chunk out of it and then when you get it back it's completely whole so all is good uh... <laughs> this looks like you know retro antique microscope so now he's found out that uh... he used a liquid liquid extraction to isolate the essential oils from the petals of the flower the tests indicate these oils may have mild medicinal value. I should be able to make a basic medicine from what I've got. Now, nab the petals there. Take them over to the synthesis table. And activate me bong. Oh, no, you do utilise the scales. Uh, now... This is where we make the medicine. Obviously, in another life, this guy we created crystal meth. So I successfully made some basic medicine, and as I said earlier, reduces. I don't. I don't think I did actually. Basically, it reduces um, the fever for a short while. Okay. Now, if I remember rightly. Um, Uh, yeah, that's what it was. That's what I was looking for. Um, basically, you can get uh, a compass and a watch, so you can, you know which direction you can walk in, what time it is. Uh, all is good. Now, if I remember rightly, you can make a better medicine if you combine this plant and one you find further along. Uh, I'll quickly... Uh, I'll just certainly put this on the synthesis table and go get another one. Uh, no, I won't. I'll, just, I'll put it in the storage bin. Uh, there we go. Um, now, yeah, I believe you can sprint by holding down uh, shift. I'm not too sure. And you can jump a little. Now, yeah. Now, you can drink fresh water, which is amazing. And, I mean, just look at those elbows. The elbows go back into themselves. But, you know, I'm trying not to pick as many holes as I did when I first played this. Uh, like which was like two months ago now, it's a ridiculously long time ago. Trying not to pick as many holes with this game because it was done by two people, which I think is extraordinary. 